right now I'm in a boat, obviously, and it's a pedal boat, obviously, and I've also got solar panels on my pedal boat, and a motor, and you can see the motor's out of the water. Uh, I just took the motor out because there is, well there's a little blue sky over there, but where the sun is right now it's over there and it's it's mighty gray. I basically got no nothing coming in from the solar panels. Like uh, like the motor was going slow enough that it's actually easier now that I took the motor out. I was just dragging the propeller mostly. And it has been a long day. I'm kind of out of gas and I still have a pretty long way to go. So I thought I'd sit here and talk to a camera for a little bit and hopefully by the time I'm done talking I'll have gone a little bit of this distance. I still have like an hour and a half of pretty hard pedaling to get home. Two hours if I do not so hard pedaling and if I really slack off, well oh, it could take all night. So I'm going to try to keep up a decent pace. So this morning at about 5.40 I woke up, no alarm or anything, and uh, I was like, oh, sun's not out, but I know I'm going to town today, so let me check the time. It was 5.40, and I was like, oh, well, let's go. So I got out of there by 6. Yeah, I was moving. I had to stop and kill a couple ants that were on the table. Like the, someone had a dirty bowl. Ah. Anyway. I got out of there by 6 and started pedaling to town. In the morning, there's no sun, so I was just pedaling for most of it. But then, you know, as the morning went on, even though it was cloudy, I started getting just enough sun to be useful, so I put the motor in. Maybe the last, the last hour I had some pretty decent motor action. Got there in a reasonable amount of time, under 4 hours. And it's been a long day today because I had an extra thing to do. Um, I went to get packages. Packages, here's one of my packages. I'm very excited about this one. It's got stainless steel bowls in it. Oh, I love stainless steel bowls. And, uh, you know, I have, a, I have a few heavy gauge stainless steel bowls that I brought from from Vermont when I moved here. Not enough though. And I bought, well I bought one in town. Maybe I bought two. Anyway, the ones in town here are so thin metal they end up cracking and yeah they're just, they're kind of garbage. So I went on Amazon and found some stainless steel bowls and the reviews said, wow these are really Heavy gauge, better than I was expecting, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, ooh, I should put those on my Amazon wish list and have wishful thinking. I mean, if no one if no one bought them for me, I would have ended up buying them myself eventually. But someone bought them for me. Oh, amazing. Someone also sent me some, this was also off my Amazon wish list, some Tapatio, which is my favorite hot sauce. A whole gallon is down, down in one of those boxes. And then, I don't know, that one there has a bunch of Deshana's underwear or something. And then there's another box over there I haven't, haven't opened yet. Now that I've talked about this, I'll have to open that one on camera when I get home. But it's like, you know, way up there at the front of the boat. Anyway, to pick up the packages, I park my boat in town. And then I get my wheelbarrow, which is now full of food. And... <clears throat> I take my wheelbarrow empty uh, and my backpack just in case because I never know how much stuff there's going to be. And it's about three mile, yeah, it's about a three mile, oh no, it's like three and a half mile run or walk, but I, I always run it because I don't want to take, take all day. Run out of town to get to where I pick up the packages. And yes, yes, normal people get a taxi, but I don't because I, I like the exercise and I even like the fact that right now I'm like feeling very out of gas 
but I know I still have like half a marathon to run. It is. It's kind of nice. Because if I was doing a normal exercise routine, I would I would pretty much stop at this point. I would never push myself this hard. I don't know, maybe I would. Anyway, the point is, I don't really have a choice and I like that. Or I, 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 I had a choice, but I put myself in a position where now I don't have a choice. I like putting myself in those positions where I have to I have to do something different. Anyway, three and a half miles out of town, I get to the place where the packages are, and nobody's there, and I'm like, oh crap. The container must have missed the ferry, so they're gonna unload later in the day, but if I get it later in the day, if I just sit there hanging out and waiting, I'm gonna be driving home in the dark. So, luckily I found one of the guys who works there, and he's like, well, most of your packages came on the, the previous container, so he gave me this box and that box, and there's a couple more down there and one up in the front. I'll show the rest when I get home. So I threw those in my wheelbarrow, you know, chit-chatted a little bit. The guy who, who runs the, uh, the container service, well, maybe I should plug his name for anyone local who, who uh, watches this, Bill Kruger. I always use Bill Kruger. And I've tried a few different, you know, container services, shipping stuff from the States, and I've never had a problem with him, so I always use him, and he's a great guy, and yeah, I, I totally recommend him. Um, so anyway, I got everything in my wheelbarrow, ran the three and a half miles back to where my boat was parked, unloaded all that stuff, and then took my wheelbarrow and went to the bank and my bank card didn't work at the bank it's a new card and I don't know maybe I'm pushing the wrong buttons or whatever I, I have to I'll have to ask what I'm what I'm doing wrong but the, the the card did work at the store so whatever I know the card works um, so anyway after after getting nothing out of the bank I uh, ran across the street to where my scrap metal guy lives and he was there today like sometimes he's there sometimes he's not i don't i don't schedule anything i just anytime i'm in town i try to go by his place and if he's there i'm like i'll buy scrap metal aluminium aluminum or stainless steel i don't want regular steel generally unless it's something i'm really that i specifically want or whatever but like just just like scrap materials i want things that that won't rust and you know, aluminum, aluminum does corrode, but not as fast as you know some iron. Anyway, I got all that stuff up there. I have a new ladder, which is broken. You can maybe see the break up there, but I should be able to fix it with that aluminum, aluminum window frame and you know, a few bicycle wheels and some other poles and stuff. And there's a fire, an aluminum container fire extinguisher. And you know, there's a bunch of, hold on, let me just go up and show you. There, some some pots and pans and stuff I can cut up. Anyway, let me get back to my chair. Keep pedaling. So, because that guy was there, that took an extra trip into town and back to the boat, which isn't a long trip, but you know, on a day when I'm, I've already gone to get packages, you know, it adds a fair amount of time. So, when I got back to the boat, with all my scrap metal and unloaded it. Chit chatted with a, another cool guy I know in town, but I always have to cut the conversation short because I know I have, to, I have to go so I don't end up driving home in the dark. Uh, then I was like, okay, I only have time for one more trip into, into town with my wheelbarrow and whatever I get on this trip is all I'm gonna get. Because I had a pretty extensive list today of stuff Shana wanted and you know, I just wanted the usual food and stuff, and you know, some scrap metal and stuff. Oh, there's a piece of sheet metal on top of my food there. That's stainless steel. So anyway, I drove my wheelbarrow into the grocery store and got like cornflakes and oats, tomato sauce, and I don't know, just stuff. Went to the other grocery store, got some frozen stuff, and then uh, on the way out of there, I went to a like a vegetable and fruit vendor. I think I, I think I got a watermelon today. Oh, I'm excited! Under that sheet of metal is a watermelon. I put the sheet of metal there because they were all that stuff was in the sun when I left. I knew it wouldn't be in the sun for that long, um, just because I put the solar panels out. But 
anyway, there's a watermelon in there and some peppers and I don't know, whatever, a cabbage, I don't know, some other stuff. And uh, then I got everything to the boat and I was like, oh, there's one more thing I need, which was popcorn. So I went to the store that was right near the boat and got some popcorn and, you know, a couple of snacks, some empanadas and stuff for the drive home. I've eaten, I've eaten all the snacks I got. Sometimes I get snacks, sometimes I don't. Today was a pretty tiring day, so I got snacks in town. But I did also bring a loaf of coconut bread, coconut sourdough bread, which is pretty amazing, like energy food. It's a, uh, it's like at least half coconut. It's really good. And I still have some of that left, so I can eat that. And I have plenty of water left. Anyway, finally I got everything on the boat, said the goodbyes to everyone. I mean, not that many people. Oh no, there was something else that happened in town. Kind of on my last, yeah, on my last trip when I was driving my wheelbarrow into to the grocery store, I saw this, I saw this young lady driving a bicycle kind of toward me and then went that way. And I was like, wow, that is a good looking human. <laughs> she was all like lean with like good posture and had nice muscles and stuff. And uh, I didn't get a, a super good look at her because she was going by on a bike. But for a, but I got I got like real good vibes from her. And for a moment I was like, whoa, maybe I should drop my wheelbarrow and go run run up beside her and say hello. And then I didn't for two reasons. Not because I can't run beside a, uh, a bicycle. I can still run pretty fast. Like, I'm probably not as fast as I was when I ran track and field. Well, obviously I'm not, because I was specifically training for that. But I can still run up beside someone who's on a bicycle and have a conversation for several miles before I run out of gas. Which might impress her, but could also totally creep her out that some weird stranger was running up beside her. So I was like, I don't know if I should do that. And then I was like, and obviously I can't just drop my wheelbarrow here because someone's going to steal this amazing wheelbarrow. So I didn't. But uh, that was cool. She was gorgeous. Like a, like a beautiful thing. Maybe I, maybe I actually shouldn't meet her because sometimes when you see a beautiful person, they stay beautiful until they open their mouth. And then you're like, oh, why did you have to talk? Anyway. When I finally got all my stuff back to the boat, uh, I got untied the boat, pushed it off, and started leaving. And there was a pretty strong wind, but the sun was out. So I put the, the solar panels out, and uh, the wind was kind of going in the right direction, which was nice. So the first part of the trip on the way back, I had good solar panels, good, good motor action going, and the wind was going in the right way, so I was cruising pretty fast. However, within, I don't know, half an hour, maybe not even half an hour, oh, the sun got covered up by clouds, and I was slowing down more and more and more. And then by the time I got halfway, halfway back home, uh, I just wasn't getting enough sun to even run the motor. So I popped it out, and here I am. Just, wow! I've gotten pretty far in that time I've just yabber blabbed. Oh, that's great. Although, this is my secondary camera, which means it only has a two gigabyte, what's it called, card in it. So it's not gonna be able to record for that long. Look, look how far the back that is now. Uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so now I'm just, just pedaling. Oh, here's my question. Oh wait, I just realized, this is a question for girls, not for guys, but all my audience is guys. But there are like four girls who watch this channel. So here's here's your question, here's my question for you. Say say you were riding a uh, bicycle. Sorry, my brains are starting to go because I'm tired. Say you're riding a bicycle and some total stranger comes running up beside your bicycle and says, hi, I was, hoping we could talk or something like that is that creepy or cool 
And I know girls are gonna be like, well, if he looks like Cary Grant, it's amazing. But if he looks like a creepy weirdo, then uh. Oh, I don't know. I'm just rambling now. Okay. Oh, let me let me show you some of the cool scenery around here. Although this camera probably doesn't see very far. Although, uh -oh. here's my straight ahead view. Beautiful. I would like some more sun right now for my solar panels. However, it is beautiful out. It's kind of nice having some shade and it's a little bit cool. There's a really cool little village right here. It's probably hard to see on the camera. And then over here, there's a crack between the two, these two big islands. This is one island here and another island here. And that goes out to the Caribbean Sea. So a lot of the little waves you see right now are coming through that, and kind of spreading out. Because the wind is kind of coming this way. So these waves coming this way are coming through that, that hole. Oh, there's some pretty clouds back there. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm gonna shut up. And, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. That was a good little rest. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and crank up my legs. See if I can get home at a reasonable hour. Okay. Uh, over now. Alright, let's see if we can get some driving music. Ah, good enough! Alright, come on, legs! Well, oh, the radio stopped playing music and started talking about dentists and flooring and I don't know, whatever. So, uh, let's turn that off and now. Now I'm going to try to distract myself for another few minutes. Ooh, it's working already. I'm being distracted from how tired my legs are. I just sped up. Ooh, I should keep talking about that. Oh, here we're going at a pretty good pace. And I'm like 90% sure there's a way through the mangroves up there. I hope there is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Anyway, what I want to do right now is get my, my coconut sourdough bread, which is right up there, but I, I can't reach it while pedaling. And I don't want to stop pedaling, because I'm keeping up a pretty good pace here. So I'm just going to talk about it. Sourdough aficionados will appreciate this. So supposedly, the older a sourdough is, the better it gets. And I've had my sourdough going, like working steadily. I make a loaf every day or two, sometimes every three days. But like, I make a, I make a loaf of bread or pizza dough or whatever, often enough that I never have to throw out any of my sourdough. And you know, my, it never, I never leave it to starve for a while or anything. Like it's, it's been healthy and active for, I don't know, six months or so? I don't, I don't remember when I got it. But before I had it, well, I got it from Deshana and she's had it going for years. So it's pretty old sourdough. And uh, about three weeks ago, my sourdough bread started tasting like donuts. That was exciting. And I don't know if it's the, just the sourdough on itself or if it's how it's reacting with the coconut, because I always I always put a lot of coconut in my, my sourdough bread because I don't want to just eat bread. Like I'll, I want, I want more something in it, and plus I grow coconuts, so I want to, you know, I want to eat them. And I can't just eat that much coconut. It gets too like, you know, like. But uh, you get, the coconut works really, really well in bread. If you uh, shave it up, what do you call it? <laughs> shred it, shred it. You shred the coconut. All right, brains, keep going. So about three weeks ago, my sourdough bread started tasting like donuts. To the point where I and my kids now refer to my bread as donut bread. And my oldest daughter was like, why are you guys calling that donut bread? And I was like, taste some. And she took a bite and was like, oh, 
and then left. And I was like, what do you mean, oh, this is amazing. And she's like, well, yeah, it tastes like donuts, it's great. Oh. But it's cool, I didn't have to add any sugar or anything, it just tastes like donuts now. And it's right over there. I'm like looking right at it and I, I would like some right now. Now, regular bread, like that's, that's just wheat. Oh, for anyone who doesn't know what sourdough is, you know how you make bread? Oh, I'm not gonna explain how to make bread. Just go look it up if you don't even know how to do that. Um, normally when you make bread, uh, you use uh, flour and yeast. And the yeast makes all these bubbles, makes it rise, turns it into bread. But sourdough, you basically have some fermented, swampy, like goo <laughs> that's made out of flour and water. And it's just fermented and turned into this I don't know, this thing, like it doesn't smell bad or anything. Like you think something that's sitting in a in a thing for months or years, just fermenting would smell bad, but it, it doesn't. It smells like I don't know. It smells a little bit like beer actually. Like I mean kinda like bread. Anyway, as long as you keep it healthy, it smells good. And you put some of that in your bread, and the more you put into your bread, you know, the faster it'll rise. Anyway, if I eat like normal bread, not sourdough bread, uh, I just feel kind of sluggish. You know, like if I eat wheat, or if I eat like tortillas, or you know, anything with just like normal wheat in it. Doesn't, doesn't make me feel horrible or anything, but I always feel kind of like, kind of like I've put low-grade fuel in the tank and then I'm running on some, some crap and just, and it's just, it's, it's like it's telling me to be lazy. And then when I eat the sourdough bread, it's like, whoa, I am ready to go. Especially if it's got coconut in it. Well, it rained for the last 15 minutes of my trip home yesterday, but yeah, I got home and kept all the important stuff that needs to stay dry, dry, including this fancy banjo thing that's not for me, it's for Deshaina. What else did you get over here? Uh, what do you get? Did you show your Doctor Who thing? <laughs> all right, hold Wait, on. Wait, nice? you got a super, where's your super cool clamp? I want to see your, you got, whoa, you guys got jewels and stuff? Yeah, where's your super cool? Oh, I can't believe you're trying to hide it from me. Like, I'm, I'm gonna steal it. I'm trying to take it home. <laughs> it clamps onto the table like that, and then it's got like, you know, oh, cool yeah, clamp, man. Yeah, but check man. this out. It's like all old style. I bet it's really good condition, too. I did check that out. You're gonna pull it out and play some, play some rockin' tunes there? Yeah, it's awesome. All right, just break some stuff. Let's go. Yeah, check it oh, out. It's nice. Really cute. It's totally not tuned. <laughs> Hey, did you see what I got at the junkyard? The ladder? This? Oh, I got another ladder too. Isn't that ridiculous? Now I have two ladders. Oh, that's but look, cool. it's like an IKEA holder upper thing, you know, collapses yeah, it's or whatever. Collapsible laundry line. Is that what it is? Laundry line? Well, I don't it's know, missing a few of the but... pieces, but that means I got it for like a yeah. dollar. <laughs> Scrap metal price, whatever it was. It's uh, an exercise machine, pumping up your pecs. Oh, but did you see my amazing bowls? These are awesome. I don't know about the uh, Enther and Lifeys. <laughs> there, was a, there was a really funny uh, Chinese paper in here, you know, with, with Chinese bad English, which was hilarious. But anyway, yeah. Good stainless bowls. I've been wanting some of those for a long time. I've also received some Doctor Who paraphernalia with some, I don't know, it's a container of some kind. That's cool. I do enjoy the Doctor Who. Although, I haven't seen any of the new Doctor Whos lately. Uh, I don't know if they're any good. My favorite is the, the old ones I watched when I was a kid. Oh, and yes, I'm mostly naked because I have shorts on. But I, I just did morning exercises. I wasn't sure if I was going to do them because I had such a long day yesterday. But then I was like, come on, let's do it. We got Captain America over here. Where's your shield, dude? I want to see your cool hat on. Ah, whatever. Oh, you're going to put it on? So, uh, who made that suit for you? Abba. Your big sister? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a pretty cool suit, man. Although it looks even cooler with, your, with found, your cool shield. And I found your present. You know, with 
With your limited visibility, it makes you start standing in superhero poses. I wonder if that's where superhero poses originally came from. Let's go point at the thing. <laughs> I also got two brand new, okay, extremely used computers. Uh, I got them for like 120 bucks on eBay. They have no hard drives. And I got these because I have two computers and one is my working on stuff computer, so I use that one to you know, edit videos and do any, any important stuff. This one never goes on the internet, which keeps it safe from viruses or Windows updates or any other horrible things I don't want. So this was my going online computer, and I've had it for a pretty long time, and it recently died. Well, the, the screen died, and then the mouse track, mouse pad thing died, so I think the, like, the motherboard is blown or something. But anyway, the hard drive should be fine. So I bought two computers that were super cheap because I don't have hard drives and I'm hoping I can just take the hard drive out of this, slap it right in here and since it's the same model, hopefully it'll just whoosh, just work. And I have a, and then I'll have this one for, you know, emergency backup. I should also mention, this computer has been excellent. One of my fans sent it to me. It's a guy, one of the guys who makes these. So I would highly recommend those. I haven't had any problems with it. It's really good. Oh, most importantly though, I got a watermelon. Oh, and all this, all this stuff up here, well, the Shane is gonna take some of it to her house, but it all fits in my, my cupboards down here, which are mostly empty. Those ones are totally empty. This one has like one thing in it. Yeah, plenty of space for all my, my food stuff. And I don't use the bottom row, you know, just, just so I can sweep that out. Because that's, that's where all the dirt ends up going. Oh, and it appears, Deshana, you've brought me a bunch of canned pork that you canned. Because some, some guys came by with some fresh pork. Pig. Fresh pig yesterday? Yep. Yeah, some guys came with fresh Day pig before. two days ago. Yeah, so you bought a bunch and canned it, which yesterday is excellent. Though, I don't know, all the days kind of blend together. It was unfortunate yeah, it was, uh, two days ago. Just some local guys in a, in a wood canoe. Well, since the other day when I went to pick up packages. One of the containers was delayed. I missed it. And so I went two days later, which was yesterday. Now my legs are pretty tired, but I got some, some more stuff. Most of the stuff I got yesterday was stuff to Shana ordered, but I got thousand aluminum, aluminum rivets, some Sharpies, which is great. Cause I've been drawing, I've drawn lots of pictures with Sharpies. And I ran out of my main one. I've got an outside micrometer. Someone kept mentioning that I should get one of these. And I put it on my Amazon wish list and someone got it for me. And then I also got this other kind of, oh, can I open this with one hand? And both of these are non-battery ones. See, I, I had one of these. You know, it's a little thing where, I don't want to take it out of the bag yet because it's so nice and clean. But you measure the, the length of stuff by opening this and closing it. And I had a digital one, but you know, the battery dies eventually and then whatever. So this is a non-battery one. And this is a non-battery thing. And I've also got paint pens. Mm, I'm gonna have to see what those are like. I've never, never used these before. And I've also got mirror effect uh, spray paint and chrome markers. Cause I wanted to, I wanna mirror my my bathroom windows. So over here, here's my kitchen. And here I've got this, this window that goes to the bathroom. And right now, just so you can't see into the bathroom, I have this, you know, ugly sheet of plastic. And I was thinking I should spray this side with the, the mirror paint, and then the other side will be your mirror. And then I can also spray the inside of this one, and then there will be a mirror on this side. So I'll have one mirror out here and then one mirror in the bathroom. Mm, yeah. I am mighty curious to see how well that mirror paint works. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get it out right now though. I'm gonna wait till I can get the, the windows nice and super clean and can just do a really good job. Give it the best chance of, of working well. All right, I guess I'm gonna shut up and put some video together. I think I got a whole bunch of video when I was driving my boat because this camera's full. And I must have been rambling on for a while, I don't even remember. Oh, hey dude, what's up?